what is the problem with the delta variant at this moment we're looking at another mutation called the delta plus please uh, share some insights uh, as uh, head of uh, insacog as to what it means to india and what it should mean to the world see first of all you have to remember this sars corona virus is an rna virus so mutation is nothing surprise so because of this error prone replication this virus tend to mutate and the mutations that are going to help the virus to enter efficiently or to escape the immune challenge of the host are usually naturally selected mm -hmm. so you know you can you, you expect that this virus is going to keep on mutating and some of these mutations will be of concern and some of them are actually not so of concern it could be of interest now you know as you know that the virus started from last year we had this wuhan strain then there was suddenly there was a d614g was a mutation and that was actually helping the virus to make more efficiently contact with the ac2 receptor of the host and it was effectively transmitting into different populations so and and you could see we have actually shown last year from a thousand genome sequencing Uh, coordinated by NIDNG, National Institute of Biomedical Genomics, along with five other laboratories of the Department of Biotechnology, and we showed that how this D614G outplayed all the other strains, even the Wuhan strain, and spread it all. That was 2020. But at the end of the year, we started seeing that there are other variants coming in the backdrop of D614G, and uh, you know, as you all know, that first it started with the UK variant. now we call it as a alpha variant then after that there were some south african variant which we call a beta variant now what is this variant is you know all these variants are strains i mean uh, but all variants are not strains but all strains are variants right so that you have to remember so the one that actually uh, with time we can see it, that this variant is aggressively infecting the host and actually uh, somehow outplaying the other uh, variant abundance then we started saying this is a variant of under investigation vui or we can say variant of interest once we start seeing that this variant is actually somehow affecting the treatment regimen or affecting the infectivity or uh, you know the vaccine challenge all these things when we see it then we started saying this is a variant of concern when there is a proof it's not like prediction but there is proof that there is an immune escape there is more infectivity more transmissibility more severity some of those things then we call it as a variant and when it comes to a level that it is actually really force us to change our strategy and then look at it in a different way to uh, strategize how to combat this virus how to change our treatment regimen how to change our vaccine policy then we call it as a variant of high concern so these are the steps now what is said correctly that this is now the delta variant we started calling as a voc now this voc now this delta variant will also have different sub lineages so there is a lineage which is delta variant which we earlier uh, have called at some time double mutant actually it's an indian variant uh, with some key mutations i don't want to get get into the detail but those key mutations we believe might have some changes in the property of the virus right mm -hmm. but all these things now you know some of these things are predictive because we try to correlate the sequence variations and some data from the clinical scenario and try to find out that this is going to be a major concern or minor concern at the same time you need to do some biology experiment with this and to figure it out whether this has a real cause and concern both right so if you can really match up that because of this mutation there is a change in the conformation of the spike protein and now it has a differential ability to interact with the receptor then it is an altered function and that becomes a proof so at this moment experiments are going on in different laboratories across the world and even in india to attribute whether this mutation is really going to affect uh, the virus property in a way that it has a 
more transmissibility or more infectivity or you know it has more severity at this moment strictly speaking we don't have enough data to say that it is causing more severe disease but it is definitely the delta variant compared to the other variant alpha beta and others you can say that it is actually infective okay but now delta plus is one more mutation in the background of the delta variant now the delta plus is actually misnomer we call it as a dot y dot 1 or a y 2 now 1 and 2 there will be mutations now the thing the fact that it has somehow acquired one mutations from the south african variant which was in new step so we started thinking that there is a possibility that this particular variant might also be an immune escape but again sufficient data needs to be generated with the whatever sequences we are getting whatever clinical relevances we are getting from different meta data that we call meta data from the hospitals and other things then when we actually align it and see it then we can actually convincingly tell you that this has a real uh, you know impact on the infectivity or the severity at this moment we don't have enough data to say it but definitely it is a variant of concern any sub lineages under the delta will be considered as a variant of concern